hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a clean with me video which has it's been a while since I've last done one of these kind of clean with me videos and I'm going to kind of do it a bit festive edition today. I've got some Christmassy scented products that I'm going to use, some candles, some new aromatic diffusers to get on the go and just make the house smell lovely and festive. So fingers crossed hopefully this video gives you a bit of a motivational push to get going with your house clean if you need to get on it and need a bit of motivation. I always find watching cleaning videos really really helps. I also find writing a list helps so grab a pen and paper maybe write down the steps that I do and then just after this video just get going. First things first when I am spending the day cleaning I always start with putting a wash load on so that by the time that I've finished cleaning it should be ready to hang out and dry. I have a brand new washing machine which is very exciting. The one that we had previously was just the one that was left here from this house when we moved in. It was well due an upgrade. So I was in desperate need of a brand new washing machine and then my dear very kindly reached out and offered to send me a brand new washing machine. So they're partnering with me on today's video. It's bed washing day today, so I haven't even made the bed yet this morning. All the bedding's gonna go in the wash. I'll show you some of the functions and show you what it looks like. Really impressed with it so far. We've used it a few times already. It even sings to you. If you're in the market for one yourself, I will leave a direct link in the description box below where you can shop through and have a look in more detail about the one that we've currently got. And we also opted for the £21 charge of having them, when they dropped it off, they actually came in, they unplugged and recycled our old washing machine and then actually installed it, tested it, tried it out and everything so that we had peace of mind that we knew that on their visit they could come in, they could install it and they could recycle our old one, which I think is well worth the extra £21 pounds. This one in particular is the MF200 front loading washer. We opted for it in white. It's got 14 different wash cycles. It comes with the Lunar Dial which looks really smart and also the Health Guard technology. Another thing we noticed in comparison to our old one especially is the sound. It is so quiet that you can barely even notice that it's on. Especially when we're doing like the dog washing like any towels or bedding that the dog's been on we always put it on a really really hot wash especially his towels as well because they get filthy at this time of the year with every single walk being a muddy walk and then it also has the turbo wash function which allows it to spin a lot quicker dry really really quickly i'm going to take off all the bedding pop it in the wash downstairs and then head on back upstairs to make the bed and finish tidying up up here and then i have a big job on my hands for the kitchen which i'm really not looking forward to but anyway Feel like we need to just get the show on the road let's head on downstairs let's put a wash load on i might even grab myself a coffee to give me a bit of a kick i feel like a good strong coffee and a cleaning video gets me motivated to get going so let's do this so of course the first things first is to pop on the christmas music i really find by popping a playlist on in the background gets me motivated as does putting my hair up so that's always the first step as well as mentioned i always start with putting a wash load on so i'm stripping the bed and it is a bed wash day which is my favorite of all the washing to do i love nothing more than getting into a bed with fresh sheets this particular model has an amazing capacity for the wash load so I can wash my entire bedding all in one go. There also is a program within this washing machine that allows a hotter wash so whenever I'm washing bedding, towels, any dog bedding, dog blankets or anything like that I always tend to put it on the hottest wash which heats up to 70 degrees but it also produces a vapour at the same time. So the steam care function allows the water to be filled in heated up to 70 degrees and then generates the warm steam before the main washing program and that warm steam penetrates into fibers it crushes dirt kills bacteria and it really just gives your bedding your towels any kind of dog bedding a really deep clean Having our washing machine within our kind of open plan kitchen living area, it was really important for us to find one that was a lot quieter than the previous one. So I'm just gonna leave this sound just so you can see exactly how quiet it is. It's one of the first things we noticed when we first used the washing machine, how quiet it actually is. It's true, tomorrow is I always 
underestimate how long it actually takes to make the bed, especially when you're doing it solo and on a super king. It takes its time, but I always like to finish off with the Lenore crease releaser. It just allows any creases from your bedding to be basically ironed out, but without the iron, which is far easier and far more up my street. So it's always a finishing touch that not only works, but smells amazing too. Then I just have a general tidy up of all of the bedrooms and also pop the dirty washing in my laundry bags. I recently got these from Zara Home and I absolutely love them. Got them in the sale if you are interested in if they're still available, I'll leave them linked below. Then I go in with the Winter Spice Zaflora which is already diluted down and a dust cloth and just wipe down all the surfaces so that everything is disinfected and also dusted down too. One thing they don't tell you about panelling is the amount of dusting that you have to do. Obviously you have your skirting boards, but it's like skirting boards times three or four, depending on how many panels that you have to dust at the same time. But whilst the dust is already out, it's an easy enough job to do. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. Then I use my glass cleaner, this one is from Dunelm and this green cloth is from Minky, it's their glass cleaner which is by far the best glass cleaning cloth I have ever used, I actually have a few of them, I use them for sort of chrome or metal surfaces as well. And then I also like to pop some Zaflora diluted onto the radiator so that when the heating is on, it warms up the room as well as making it smell amazing too. After a final hoover, I like to go in with the 1001 Carpet Fresh. This one is in the winter Frosted Berries Edition. I wish they had a bit more variety when it comes to their seasonal scents because I do love this product. But yeah, they are lacking on the variety. And then I pretty much follow this routine throughout the rest of the bedrooms too. With the ensuite in this spare bedroom, considering it very rarely gets used, I always just like to give it the odd Harpic Pine because I actually love the pine scent to this and I use it all year round. And then I also just give all the chrome surfaces a quick polish down so that everything is nice and shiny and dust free. then into my filming room which is pretty empty but I like it this way I feel like this room for me has to be fairly versatile when it comes to filming so I just have lots of space I am looking to get a sofa bed within this room at some point perhaps in the new year it's not on my priority of list of things to find right now after a quick hoover and a wipe down of my huge mirror which definitely collects dust far too quickly for my liking and then a wipe down of all the other surfaces and the flora as per the other rooms I then go in with a special extra touch to this room so my special finishing touch in this room is to use my Espar aromatic diffuser which you just pop some water in and some fragrance oil the fragrance that I have going within this room is Fireside from the White Company. It's probably my all time favorite scent. I have a candle, room spray, and the fragrance oil, so it really does smell amazing in here. Kayla's being sun, it's Christmas. 
the fire crackling gently all the while snow is falling down guess everything's just right but i'll be wishing you were here with me Then I'm going to move into my bathroom and I will be wiping down all of the brushed brass hardware that we have in here but for anyone else out there watching who also has brass hardware do let me know any products that you'd recommend on cleaning I don't want to ruin the brushed brass effect and obviously I'm used to just chrome so at the minute I'm just kind of wiping it down but if there's any specific products that I should use or perhaps even shouldn't use then do let me know and then seeing as though we have some festive edition wipes I have gone wipe heavy with this video which I don't ordinarily do when cleaning I do tend to just stick with microfiber cloths and sprays but on this occasion I am going all out with the wipes and honestly it makes Makes life so much easier I know it's not the most environmentally friendly but if ever you just want to do a quick speed clean I would just recommend taking the wipes going around the entire house and I even like to keep the wipes upstairs as well so that I've always got some to hand up here Then as always a lovely finishing touch is to light a candle and in this bathroom I have a candle from this works which I think I got in a look fantastic box one of their beauty boxes that they send out I don't know what he want now, but I don't care. Yeah. So now that the bathroom is sparkling clean, I head on back downstairs to, of course, a gorgeous sleeping puppy and the Christmas lights, which make me feel just so incredibly festive. I'm really going to miss this Christmas tree when it comes down in the new year. I have absolutely loved having it up. It's just made me feel so cozy and festive. And it is from Balsam Hill, if you are interested. So anyway, moving on to the kitchen, I've left it in a mess on purpose so that we get a great before and after. And we have also only just had a dishwasher fitted so at the time of filming this video we were without so I just had to hand wash all our pots before cleaning the rest of the surfaces there will be someone who would not complain to drive all night all day to celebrate Christmas with me because you're not here and I'm not there and then today I am using the Zaflora in Sparkling Spruce. It's my favorite of the Christmas scents because I love that kind of pine scent. Fortunately, that new one that they've done, the Fur Needle and Amber, it's just a bit too sweet for me and there's not enough fur. Oh, 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 you miss out. 
but with sparkling spruce in the sink and some hot water it makes the kitchen smell amazing with that extra hit of fir tree from the white company i just popped a few drops in my wax melt burner and these tea lights from asda are amazing they burn for eight hours The hob is always probably my least favourite job to do and to be honest with you once the wipes had got the majority of the little bits and dirt and grime I just went in with the flash spray in apple spice their festive edition along with a cute festive minky cloth too. You can feel it in the air that every child got their hearts filled up with joy yeah and with the final tidy up of the living room i just have dog toys everywhere every single minute of the day it seems as soon as i put them away barney likes to play the game of getting all his toys back out so after a quick hoover and a final spritz of the christmas tree of the white company fair tree scent the living room is lovely and clean smelling amazing as is all of the upstairs and that concludes my clean with me video so i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to check out my dear in the description box below i will leave a direct link i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day thanks for watching and i hope to see you again next time bye guys and friends have a Christmas with so much love.